Hello, Edwin. Hi. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, All teacher. Right. Hello. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Are you? Good. I'm very, very good. I'm happy to see you. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Yes. What happened to the rest of your 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 classmates? Do you know? No idea. Hmm. So strange. Very, very strange. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, hmm. Well, we'll have to see. Yeah, because uh, I, I have no idea what happened. Okay, but I'm glad to see that you connected. How was your, how was your day today? If I, um, how would you say, un poco? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit tired. A little bit tired. A little bit tired, really? Why? Uh, I've been uh, studying in the, in the class uh, in the university. university. You what? I finished uh, uh, the class in the university. Oh, in the platform. Yes. Oh, or what is the university you said? Yes, uh, I am a student in the university and oh. online. Oh, that's the, interesting. The, 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 today uh, I have class the uh, one o'clock at uh, three half p.m. Oh, okay. Interesting. Very good. Interesting. Okay. I'm um, well. Um, what are you studying? We studying uh, uh, engineering and in textile. 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 Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Well, guys, um, well, we're going to have to start with you. You are going to be the privileged one because you're going to have a, uh, uh, what's it called? A private class. <laughs> Only you. <laughs> okay. Fair enough, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, so, um, okay, I'm going to ask you if you can see my screen. Can, I see, can you see my screen? Can you see it or, or no? Yes, yes, I think. Yeah, you can see it? Okay. Yeah. Very very good thank you all right perfect so um last time we were looking at how to make um questions um with a simple present do you remember this yes 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 okay good so we were looking at um the fact that we always use the word do, okay? Um, we always use do or does to make questions. No. So, actually, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Um, no. The... Okay. No. So, um, I 
we use do or does. Okay, we always use do or does. Do or does is the um, the auxiliary, okay? And um, it's going to depend on the subject if we're going to use do or does. So if the subject is I, you, we, or they, we're going to be using do. The, the auxiliary is going to be do. And if the subject is he, she, or it, the subject is going to be he. Sorry, sorry, the auxiliary is going to be does. Okay. Okay. Um, so it's going to depend. It's going to depend on what the subject is. After that, the verb is going to be kept the same. So we don't do any changes to the verb. So we have the verb is get up. Get up, have, drive. Okay. Um, always. Okay. And then, um, yeah, so that's going to be how it's going to work. And then obviously you're going to have um, the, the, uh, the, the, what's it called? What do you call this? Um, the compliment. Okay. We're always going to have the compliment. Now, in we then we have also wh question words okay so we have what time okay what time what time when and we always use do for example or does okay so it's going to be exact. Oops, sorry. No mistake. I'm going to make it change. I'm going to change the color. So it's always going to be do or does. We're always going to use the same structure. And it's going to depend on the subject. Okay. So it's going to depend on the subject. All right, so what time do you get up? What time does he have lunch? What, uh, when do you drive to work? We're always gonna have the same structure there. And the answer is gonna depend on if it's a yes or no question, like get up early, it's gonna be yes or no. So we're always gonna say, no, I, I, no, I get up late or no, I get up or uh, I don't get up early. Or you can say, yes, I get up early, or no, or yes, I, um, or, yeah, yes, you know, yeah, pretty much that's going to be it, okay? So, um, yeah, so that's, that's the structure. Do you have any questions about this? Mm hmm? Tengo una, pero no sé cómo formularla en inglés. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay, go ahead and ask. Eh, en la, en las preguntas, en las preguntas que están al lado izquierdo, izquierdo, al lado izquierdo de mi pantalla, uh -huh. va do, do, sujeto, auxiliar, sería sujeto, Eh, verbo uh -huh. y complemento. Uh -huh. Eso vi en el video que right. En, yeah. right. 
en, el, en, el, en la que está a mi derecha, ah, que está señalando, el, lo, lo que ha marcado en azul, ¿cómo se llama? Oh, that's the uh, WH question word ah, w or WH question phrase. So what you want to ask is what is the name of the part in blue? That's what your question is. What okay. is the name of the part in blue? And the answer is WH question word or question phrase. WH. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other questions? No. No? No, no. No? Yeah. So, okay. All right. So, um, Okay, so let me erase this. Let me clear. Okay, so um, did we complete this? I think I think we might have, right? We might have completed this, right? Or no? I think we didn't complete it. Yeah, I don't think we complete. I think I think I just explained last class this part. That was the end of the class, I think, right? Solo, solo llegamos hasta acá, ¿verdad? Hasta la explicación de esto. No hicimos esto, ¿verdad? ¿Ve que no? Edwin, no, no lo escucho. No sé si soy yo. Okay. Are you having trouble with the audio, Edwin? Oh, I see. Okay, so, mm -hmm. e, 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 tiene auriculares que no sean de Bluetooth, tal vez funcionan, se como del celular.
Hello. Sí le escucho, pero bien lejos. Hola. A un lado, Edwin. ¿Por qué no intenta salir de la plataforma y volver a entrar? Tal vez eso funcione. Hello, Edwin. Edwin. Mariana. ¿Todavía nada, Edwin? No.
Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, the problem. Oh, no problem. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Ya, ya solucionamos. Hoy sí. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, eh, all right. Um, sorry. We were talking about the activity, right? So um, we already, we didn't do it, right? Last class? Last class. Uh -huh. Let me show you the activity so you can see what I'm talking about. This letter letter eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I want you to do right now, this part here, um, I want you to complete. Let me make this a little bigger. So I want you to complete with using the word do or does for number two to six. Okay, that shouldn't be that difficult. Two to okay. six. Okay. Right, please. You're finished? Yes. Perfect. Okay, wonderful. All right, so let's check the answers. Um Okay, so we have, do you get up early on weekends? Sorry, weekdays, sorry, weekdays. Next, what time? Do. Very good. Do you go home? What time do you go home? Next. Next. Does, does your mother work? Does your mother work? Mm -hmm. Next. Um, how does your father get to work? Excellent. Very good. How does your father get to work? Five. Do your parents read in the evening? Do your parents read in the evening? Six. Evening. Six. When do your parents shop? When do your parents shop? Very good. Okay. Now I want you to create four more questions, starting with does, what time, do, and when. Okay? You can you can okay. ask anything, any question at all. Okay.
can ask me any question you want. Does she have breakfast in your work? Okay. Does she have breakfast? In your work? In or at? At work. At, at work. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Not at your work because your work is tu trabajo. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you want to say su trabajo. How would you say that in English? When if you want to say su trabajo, o sea, el trabajo de ella. How would you say that? His, his work. Mm -hmm. Or this, or this work. His, his work. Okay. His is for a man. So for a her, woman? Her, her work. Her work, exactly. Yes, very, very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, um, let's continue. What time? What time do I start then in do, the world? What time do... Do I start or do you start? Do we start? Do we start? start? Do we? Is that what you meant? Uh, one time, do we start? Okay. Mm -hmm. in, we start what? In your words. In your words. What time do we start? Okay, do we? So we're, the subject is we. So do we start? Our Not work. your, our work. Yeah, so it has to be our because it's we. Does that make sense? Do you eat pizza? Okay, do you eat pizza? Eat Good, yeah. Eat pizza. And when? When do they play soccer? Okay, when do they play soccer? Very good. Possible answers. Okay, and these are some possible answers. Early, in the morning, late, in the afternoon, every day, in the evening, at nine on Sundays, at noon or at midnight on weekends, at night on weekdays. Okay. Got it? Uh, always the answer in this time impression. Yes. Um. Okay. Well, well, not always, but those are very common time expressions. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Any other questions? No, no. No? No. Okay. All right. So now let's... Uh, let's um, ask the questions. Okay, so if I ask you, do you get up early on weekends? Edwin, how, what would you answer? Weekends. Mm -hmm. Do you get up early on weekends? <laughs> I... Sorry, weekdays, sorry, weekdays, weekdays. Do you get up early? Uh, up early on weekdays. So weekdays are team. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, I I not can. I not can get up early. You don't you don't get up early? No. No. My song <laughs> early I get out in early um I see videos um how how would you say volumen alto 
Oh, a high volume. High volume. How high volume? High, high. High, high. high yeah, high volume. High, high. Mm -hmm. I would okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So an impossible to sleep because there's high volume in in what? The radio? The video. Uh oh. Uh, oh um, I watch the TV. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. So on weekdays, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Okay. What time do you go home? What time do you go home? Sorry, I know you think. What time do you go home? The second question. Um, Here. What time what do you time? go home? What time do you go home? In, in the morning, I go um five fourteen five fourteen a.m. five fourteen or five forty 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 okay five forty a.m. five forty a.m. okay okay very good um it, does your mother work no my mother no work. Okay. We wouldn't say my mother no work. You say my mother doesn't work. My mother doesn't work. Yeah. My mother doesn't work. Okay. Good. How does your father get to work? My father, I died in the... No? Nineteen. Okay, so, okay, so he passed away a while ago. Okay, um, sorry to hear that. Do your parents read in the evening? Is your like does your mom read in the evening? Yes. Oh, yes, how what? do you say um, on occasions? On occasions. Uh, on occasions. On occasion. Mm -hmm. Or or we can say like uh sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Okay. Very good. And um uh, when do your parents shop? Shop. Be mm -hmm. Shop like buy. Go buy it. Like buy it. Go shopping. Um, I think in the end month. In the end of the month. Or mm -hmm. at the, we say at the end of the month. At the end of the month. In the end. And no, the end. At at the end. At, at the end. At, at the, the end. end of the month. Yeah. At the end of the month. Shopping. We we are shopping. We mm -hmm. shopping uh supermarket. Ah, okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Does she, does she have breakfast at work? So like let's talk about your mom. Does she have breakfast at work? Breakfast. Mm -hmm. Does your mom have breakfast at work? Does she have breakfast at work? My breakfast is a um, eight o'clock. Okay, no. Look at the question. It says here. Does she have breakfast at work? I'm following the same question. Number seven, Edwin. Does she have breakfast at work? Number seven. Mm -hmm. Does okay. she have breakfast at work? What is the answer? Does she have breakfast at work? 
七。Al, ad, er, no, a, o, e, i, en, e, o, clock, ad, e, o, clock. When you say, does she have breakfast at work? You're going to be, you're asking a yes or no question. Mm, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes. she. She how? Yes, she does. We we answer with. With. With the auxiliary. Yes, she does. does. Or you if you say, yes, she has. You can see you have to complete the idea. Yes, she has breakfast at work. Yes, she, yeah. yes, she has breakfast at work. Mm -hmm. Yes, she has a uh, eight o'clock. Okay, she have or she has, Edwin? Has. Good, she has, because it's third person singular. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, she has at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. She has at eight o'clock. Good, excellent. All right, any questions, any other questions? No. Okay, next question. What time do we start our work? What would you answer? What time do we start our work? Yes, in time. What time do you start uh, our work? What time? Mm -hmm. This is the answer is yes, yes or no question. No, because it says what time? What time is not a yes or no question? Uh, 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 seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's seven o'clock. Okay, very good. And what time? Oh, sorry. Do you eat breakfast? Do you, sorry, do you eat pizza? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very good. And... Yeah. Yes, what? Yes, I eat pizza. Yes, I eat pizza or simply yes, I do. You can say yes, I do. Yes. Okay, good. When do they play soccer? When do they play soccer? When? Uh, every day. Hmm? Every day. Every day, could be. Every day. Mm -hmm. uh, on Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Okay, very good. On Sunday. It, we and actually we don't say on Sunday, we say on Sundays. Because the, the S at the end says that it's every Sunday. Um, okay. Does that make sense? Uh, at, at night on Sunday. On on Sunday nights. On um, Sunday nights. Yeah. Yeah, on, on Sunday, Sunday nights. Okay. Sundays. Yeah. Okay. Very good. <laughs> All right. Um. Excellent. So now we are going to work on this activity. Um, these activities. Uh, we're going to make sentences or better said questions. Um, and you, what you have to do is to make questions. You got to put the words in parentheses in the correct order. So you're going to say, for example, do you exercise every day? You're going to say. Sorry, sorry, is the word you every day exercise do? It's going to be do you exercise every day? And the answer is yes, I exercise every day. So I want you to complete these questions, these number two, three, and four, using the word in parentheses. Okay, just put them in the correct order.
Okay. Finished. You're finished. Oh, wonderful. Okay, perfect. Let's check the answers then. Okay, so we know the first one is, do you exercise every day? And the answer, yes, I exercise every day. Next question. What time? Mm -hmm. time? What time? You do, you do eat lunch. Do you eat lunch? Eat lunch. Good. What time do you eat lunch? Except Brian mm -hmm. Next. Does this class start at eight o'clock? Does this class Start at eight. That's it. Start at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Good. Does this class start at eight o'clock? Or better said, eight o'clock. Does this class start at eight o'clock? Good. Oops. Um, okay, next. When do you study? Study. When do you study English? When do you study English? Very good. Excellent, Edwin. Good for you. You corrected yourself. It's not study, that's study. So that's excellent. Good for you. Okay, very, very good. Okay, any other questions? No. No? You sure? No. Sure. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, you got it. Very good. Bravo. Okay, um, stop sharing for a moment. Okay. So it's pretty clear for you how to um, make questions with do or does. It's pretty clear. 
No. Is it clear? Oh. Um, so is it, is, is I, I have a question. Uh-huh. Okay. And the the second no. Um, does this class start at eight o'clock because on or one wish wish is is qual wish see ¿Sí? wish uh wish like uh, w how do you say qual oh which 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 yeah. dif the difference and the Right, write the number, the the time, time, letter, or name, or uh, letter and numbers. Mm. There's no difference. So if you want to write. For example, one o'clock, you can write it like this or like this. It doesn't really matter. You can write it both ways. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other questions, Sidney? No. You Thanks. sure? All right. Sure. Good. Excellent. All right. All right. So today we're going to be doing, we're going to be working on um, unit number two. Okay. Oh, but it said section number two, which corresponds to unit um, seven in your book. So let's take a look. Um, just give me a moment. I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I drink coffee. Mm. That's a very good that's that's a very good plan. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at this new unit which is talking about um places in the home, you know. So we have basically um, two floor plans. One is for a regular house and the other one is for apartment. Okay, so please tell me if you understand this. So we have yard, repeat, yard. 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 Okay, good. Uh, do you understand what is a yard? Is patio. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Patio. Uh -huh. uh, well, actually, not really patio. When see, it's como... Um, because patio, you can understand. it. Well, in, actually, in English, it's patio, which is the same thing. But a patio has more like concrete. Whereas a yard is more it's 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 bigger and it's made of grass you know grass yeah grass um what it grows on the floor you know um like when you go to a park they have grass it's green wow it's green mm -hmm. do, do you know do you know grass I can write in the chat. The chart. The chart is is in gardening. Hmm? Is it gardening? No, not necessary. It's what? Garden? Oh, Jart yeah, is in garden. Let's say not exactly garden because a garden would involve like you have trees and and plants and 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 
flowers. That would be a garden. But yard is just like grass, basically. Um, you can have a garden in the yard, but not necessarily. Okay, so basically a yard is an open area with grass. The open area and the grass. With grass grass. is grammar. Gra exactly. Grammar. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And this is a yard. Okay. Okay. All right. Excellent. All right. Let's go on. It, now, when you go into the house, you will first see the living room. Living room. Living room. Okay. Living room. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is the living room? The, li sala. Mm -hmm. the living room is where like you would put the TV and you can sit, watch TV, watch a movie, um, entertain the guest etc etc okay and then you have the dining room dining room yeah dining room is the area where you put the table so you can eat dinner or lunch okay that's the dining room do you understand dining room yes <laughs> yeah okay good 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 okay then we have the kitchen. And then kitchen. that one's, yeah, it should not be confused with the chicken. Ah, okay. It's different. <laughs> different, yeah. But the 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 chicken can go the in the kitchen. The kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. The, the chicken can go in the kitchen. <laughs> okay. Can you repeat after me? Kitchen. Yes. Kitchen. No, but repeat. Kitchen. 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 Mm -hmm. Kitchen. Good. All right, good. And then we can have the laundry room. Uh, laundry room. Laundry room. Laundry room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the laundry room? The laundry room is the mm -hmm. room where you uh, wash your clothes. Salon de lavado. Mm -hmm. Cuarto de lavado. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. That'd be the laundry room. Okay, so repeat after me laundry room. Repeat laundry room. Laundry room. Yes, very good. Okay, excellent. That's everything that we've talked about so far is in. The first floor. Okay. floor. So in a house, there might be two or three floors. Okay. Floors. Okay. So first floor, second floor, third floor, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now. Yeah. So we have here the stairs. The stairs. stairs, yeah. The stairs are, the yeah, you have to walk up the stairs to go to the second floor. Oh, wait a second. I forgot. Before we go on to the stair, we go to the second, the second, um, the second floor. We got to talk about the garage. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. Garage. Yeah. So. The garage is where you, you know, have the the car. Where you put the car usually, usually. Okay. All right. So now let's go up the stairs. Okay. Stairs. Can you repeat? Stairs. Stairs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Stairs. All right. Now, when you go up the stairs, now we're going to go on to... The second the floor. House. Second floors. Yeah, we're going to go to the second floor. So the first floor and then the second floor. Second okay. floors. Mm -hmm. So in the second floor, the first thing that we're going to see 
when we go up the second floor, we have we continue looking at the chairs. Stamps. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so yeah, so the first thing we're probably gonna see is the hall. Oh. Yeah. Do you know what a hall is? No. This is, this word is new for mm. me. Okay, okay. Another word that is similar to hall is corridor. Corridor. Does that make sense? Corridor. Corridor. Yeah. Corridor. Do you know what a corridor is? No. No idea what is corridor? Corridor. To Spanish. Corridor. Como el co corredor. Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically uh a, a a, a, a narrow space, mm -hmm. a narrow uh -huh. space where you can, you'll have different rooms. Okay, okay. that's the hall. Okay. okay, very good. Okay. Now, when you in the, the like the hall is a narrow space that connects all the bedrooms together. Okay, mm -hmm. repeat, bedroom. 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 Yes, bedroom. Bedroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, um, in the bed, or better said, yeah, it, we can either have, um, it's possible to have a connected with the bedroom. We can have the bathroom. Bathroom. Repeat. Bathroom. Bath. Bathroom. Bathroom. Uh, bathroom. That's bathroom. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And of course, we also can have connected the closet. The closet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The closet. Any questions? No. No? No. No. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um ah, okay, so that's in that's in a house. Um, um okay, let, let's let's talk about the apartment. Okay. In an apartment you will have a similar setup. Okay, very similar. Um, so you, it can have like the same things like a bedroom, for example. It's gonna be kind of the same things here, bedroom, bathroom, Closet, dining table, mm -hmm. living room, kitchen. However, some of the things that may be different in a in a in a apartment is that you may have an elevator. Okay, so repeat elevator. Elevator. Mm -hmm. Good. And another thing that oh. is different could be that you have a lobby. A lobby. Okay. All right. Mm? Lobby. El, el recibidor. Mm, kind of. Like, actually, I think we would call it um, more like vestibulo. Mm -hmm. Vestibulo. Mm -hmm. 
vestibolo. Pero no tiene nada que ver con, con el ¿Mm? nombre. ¿no? no tiene nada que ver. Con ¿El qué? El, el nombre. ¿Cómo el nombre? Sí, es un, el lo, lobby en, en un edificio de apartamento. Uh -huh. O sea, el lobby es el vestíbulo de un apartamento. De un, de un edificio. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh. uh -huh. Okay, so um, you can tell people to meet in the lobby. Um, or you can tell people to wait for you in the lobby, for example. Um, so basically, the lobby is an area in the apartment that um, is inside of the apartment so that people don't have to be waiting outside. That would be the lobby. Okay? Okay. All right. So what about your house? Um, what are the areas that exist in your house? What areas? Mm -hmm. Let's describe I your house. Please have three, three bedrooms. Three bedrooms, okay. One bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, I smoke chicken. Kitchen, I smoke kitchen. Okay, okay. Good. I, I thought, wow, so he has a pet. Una mascota, dije yo. I smoke okay. kitchen. Okay. Uh, small kitchen? A small garden. A small what? Garden. A jar. A jar. small jar. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. a, sorry, uh, a small what did you say? Sorry? Can you repeat that again? A small what? Yard? I, I, a small jar. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I I heard yar. Jar, sorry. I heard jar. Jar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I want a living room. One living room, okay. Garage? Garage? No. I not can. I not change. You don't change? Garage. Garage. Okay. You don't have a garage or you have a garage? No. No, you no. don't have a garage. Okay. No. Okay. All right. Anything else that you have? Do you have a do you have a closet, for example? No. You don't have a closet? Okay. All right. What about a hall? Do you have a hall in your in your house? Yeah, I want hall in the the principal door. The principal door of the house. Uh -huh. In I I have I'm connecting the one bed bedroom. And mm -hmm. the little one. Okay. Um. So okay. So it it connects one bedroom to us another bedroom. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. A little room. Okay. Um. Do you have a laundry room? Aquí no sé si le llamamos living room. Porque de aquí de todo nombre le decimos. A no, aquí, a, a la, los salvadoreños no le decimos la, al área de lavado, sí, le decimos oh, la pila o oh, la, oh, lavadero. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pero, yeah. Pero so, si do you have one? it? Yeah, you have one? Yes. Okay. I, I have. Okay, very good. 
Very, very good. Okay. Uh, do you have stairs? No. No? No. No yeah. stairs? No. Okay. Um, do you have a, a dining room? Dining room? Yes. Yes? It's, it's small dining room. Okay, it's a small dining room, but you have a dining room. That's the important thing. You have a dining room. Okay. Do you have a... Do you have an elevator? Do you have one? An elevator. Oh, yeah. You have an oh. elevator? I know, I know it's thing. An elevator, do you have an elevator? Elevator. This one, uh, has a map of the course. Here, an elevator. Do you have an elevator? Oh, elevator. No. <laughs> no. No. Elevator. Okay. Okay. No elevator. Okay. Do you have? Um. Oh, that's pretty much it. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, now let's um. Yes. Let's practice this conversation here. Let's actually let's clear this. Okay, so we have a conversation, and it's called "My New Apartment." Okay, we have a conversation between Linda and Chris. What we can do is we can practice a conversation together, okay? So I can be Linda and then you can be Chris. Sound sound good? Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Guess, guess what? I have a new apartment. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, okay. All right, no problem, let's look it. All right, that's great. What's it like? It's, re it's really beautiful. Um, is it very big? Well, it, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? Oh, light, light view drive. Lake view. Lake view. Lake view. Lake view. Mm -hmm. Very good. Lake. Oh, um, Lake view dry. Yes, Lake view dry. Um. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view. Of another apartment building. Apartment. Apartment oh, building. Yeah. Very good. Bravo. Excellent. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. Let's switch now. I'll be Linda and you can be Chris. Okay. Guess what? I have a new apartment. This, that's right. What is right? What is what is it like? What's it like? What what uh ah, what's, what's it like? like? What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it a very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, a kitchen. Is there and a kitchen? What is, what is it? Um, on Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. I'm guessing it have a view. 
Does it have a view? Can you repeat that? Does it have a view? Repeat, please. Does it have a view? Doesn't have a view. All night, doesn't have a view? Does it have a view? Doesn't. Does, does mean, it. Doesn't. Not doesn't. Does it. Does it have a view? Yes, there you go. That's better. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, very good. Bravo. Excellent. Um, okay, any questions so far? About the Bounty. vocabulary or the meaning? Uh, bounding, 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 bounding. Mm. Building. 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 You mean building? Building, yes. Do you, do you want the spelling or, sorry, the, do you want the pronunciation or the meaning? And the meaning. Both? Building. 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 Yeah. Building. Mm-hmm. Building. What is building? What, what, is, what is building? What is building? Mm -hmm. Do you know building? No. No idea what is building? No. Building is um, a construction. A uh, B construction going up. Um, yeah, going upwards, like and it usually has like a building has like three or four um floors. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um a, you have like usually apartments or offices in the building. Does that make sense? Está en construcción o ya tiene los pisos. And it's the, the the building is the structure, all of oh. it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. Um. Okay, any other words that you don't understand? Like view is 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 a uh, address, right? Yeah, like view is the name of the street. The street. Oh. Yeah, the name of the street. Yeah. Yes. Guess what? Hmm? Guess what? Guess what is guess what is like it's like your it's an it's an expression that means like I want your attention I'm going to tell you a story. They say guess what? It's like when you say in Spanish, adivina. What was that, Evan? What is that? What do you say? It's expression. Yeah, it's an expression. It means adivina what? Adivina adivina que? Like when you say adivina que. So it's like you're you're telling the person that you're gonna tell them a story. Adivina. Ya tengo un apartamento. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I have. Okay. Okay. Guess what? Guess, Any other... guess what? Yeah. Any other questions? No, no. No. <laughs> no? No. Okay. All right. 
perfect. All right, in that case, um, let's move on to the next part. Um, oops, let me just clear that. Okay. All right, so this is actually something that we've already talked about a little bit, but let's just talk, let's be a little more um, punctual on it, um, a little more in detail. So we already talked about that when you are asking a yes or no question, we're going to start with do or does, right? Okay. So, we say, do you live in an apartment? Actually, I'm going to change it, the color. Um, okay, so we can say, do you live in an apartment? Do the bedrooms have windows? Does Chris live in a house? Does the house have a yard? Okay, so we're going to start with either do or does. Okay, um, and then we continue it. Okay, now what's going to happen is we're going to be using the same auxiliary. Pretty much we're going to be using the same auxiliary. All we have to do is we're going to answer yes or no. So do but when we have a question that starts with do or does it's because the answer is going to be yes or no okay mm -hmm. it's always going to be yes or no yes i do mm -hmm. no, i don't right so then after that you're going to be using the subject i you he she it they whatever it is that you prefer now, does chris does the house, the house would be it, okay? And after that, we use the, um, oh, sorry, 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 my mistake. Better than Chico, it's a bit of a bit better than, um, okay, it should have been here. Yes or no yes or no is that okay and we're going to be depending on a, the subject we're going to answer he or she so normally in the question you may say ask like does your mother work and then you can say yes she does we're not going to repeat, yes, my mother works, because it's redundant. We know who the she refers to, but we need to understand. We have to say exactly who the she belongs to. We can't just simply assume um, that the person knows who is she. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Good. Um, then we have, we're going to use do or don't in the answer. Do or don't. And if it's third person singular, you're going to say does or doesn't. Does or doesn't. So far so good? Yes, teacher. Yeah, you sure? <laughs> yes. No questions? No. No? No. Okay. All right, perfect. Let's stop, Alice. Let's stop. Actually, I'm not going to stop sharing. I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to clear. Here. And we're going to make this smaller. And I'm going to ask you to complete this mini conversation here.
Okay. So we're gonna um so are you gonna put like, do you live in an apartment? No, I and then we're gonna complete with the short answers or questions or sentences. So you can really decide what is better. Okay. So I'm going to give you some time. No, I do. No, I do. I live in house. No, okay. No, I so, don't. Okay, so if you want, you can complete um, by yourself right now, and then we'll check the answers. Okay, so right, right now, do it quickly. Okay. I live in the house. Edwin, are you there? Edwin? Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay. Are you ready or? No. Any more time? <laughs> no, not yet. Okay, no problem. Linda, Linda, Linda. No, no encuentro la, la idea para la tercera, donde, donde la tercera oración. This one? Yes. Yes, it? No, a la, la de arriba. This one. It's a question. It's a question. It's a question. It's like, it's like you ask in Spanish. Eh, tiene una, una eh, tiene un um, tiene yarda se dice yarda ah, podemos hacer jardín digamos 
Do you know what I mean? Yes. Thanks. Mm -hmm. The song, nice. Mm -hmm. Are we almost ready? No. No? Has, has you. Tell me when we can check, Edwin. Can we check? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So. Yeah. So let's start. Do you live in an apartment? No, I. Don't. Very good. No, I don't. I don't. I live. Excellent. Very good. I live in a house. Mm -hmm. Next question. How? How you garden a yard? How? How? Mm, it's a question. What do we? How do we start questions? Us. Mm -mm. How do you start questions? ¿Cómo empezamos las preguntas? Do. Mm -hmm. 
Good. So it's so it's going to be either do or does. So which one is it? Do or does? Do it a garden. Hmm? Do it a garden. Or you do do, do you? Okay. Do you say do or does do, with do it? Have. The subject is it. Do we use do or do we use does? Do. With it, it is third person singular. It. Okay, do you use the word yeah. do yes. or it does? Doesn't. doesn't it. Does or does. do? Does. Does, very good, excellent. Does it Does garden. it what? Does it? Gardening. Does it? We need How we need a that? verb. Does it what? <laughs> does it does it have a yard? Yes, there you go. Does it have a yard? Tiene una yarda. Tiene un jardín. Yes, it. Yes, it does. It does. Very good. Yes, it does. That sounds nice. Mm -hmm. What goes next? Do. Good. Do you live? Excellent. Do you? Live. Excellent. Do you live? Sorry. Do you live alone? No, I don't. Don't. No, I don't. I'm oh, sorry. No, I don't. I live. Yeah, very good. I live with my family. Next question. <laughs> Hasta ahí llegué. Okay. Has... Remember, if you're making a question, we have to start with. ¿Con qué empezamos? Do, do or does. Do. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good. So, do, or does. do you, right? Do you? You what? Do you? Mm -hmm. Do you what? Do you has? Remember, it's you. Third, it's second person singular. Do you have? Good. Do you have? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Any brothers or sister? Yeah. Do you have any brothers or yes. sisters? Uh huh. Yes. I have. Yes, I. Short answers. Yes, I. Yes, I do. I do. Very good. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I, do. I have. I have. Four sisters. I have four sisters. Yeah. That's a big family. Do you? Do you? Have. Do you have a big house? Do you have a big house? Yes, we? Yes, we do. Yes, we, yes, we, yes. Good. yes, we do. Yes, we do. It. Mm. Yes. yes, we do. Right. So, does do you have? So it says, do you have a big house? Answer: Yes, we do. It. 
Top. Okay, it, it, third person singular. Has. It, it has, very good. It has 10 rooms. 10 rooms. 10 rooms. It. Hmm? Do. Do or does? Notice the subject is it. It is third person singular. So we do we say do or does? Do. It no, has. no. We say does. Because it's we. third person singular. Con it, he, and she, usamos do. Sorry, sorry, but usamos does. Okay? Siempre acuérdense okay. eso. With he, she, and it, we use does. Okay, so does it? Yes. Does it? Has many. It, now, remember, it is third person singular. So what's the third person singular of it? Uh, sorry, of, of have. Do. Does it have many? No, have is but a first. Uh, it, is, it has. Good. Oh, no, perdón, perdón. No, tiene toda la razón. Tiene toda la razón. Sorry about that. You're right, because does it have? Because it's a question. Does it have? So, yes. Si fuera, si fuera solamente la oración, sí sería has. Pero aquí la pregunta sí que ya está, que el does. Does it have many bedrooms? Yes, it. Yes, I do. No, it. Yes, it. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It. It does. It, it, it. I have. It, third person singular. Have. It, or has. it or has. has. Good. It has because it's third person singular. It has four. Next. Do you do? Do you? Oh, you. Do you? How do you say? It? Huh? Do you have? Yes, excellent. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I. Yes, I do. Yeah, very good. Bravo. Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. And that's it. You got it. Bravo. Good for you. Okay. All right. Gonna stop sharing here. And that's it. So, Edwin, we are finished. Eh, Edwin, no lo puedo ver. Veo solo la, la información, la tarea. Creo que tiene que darle vuelta. Like, ahí está. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, so Edwin, you did great. We have finished. We have come to the end of our class. Okay, and we, um, yeah, you've done really, really great with um, the questions with do or does and using the verbs um, yeah, in the affirmative and short answers. Very good. Okay. Bueno, entonces, in that case, Edwin is going to be all for today. ¿Se acuerda cuando tenemos la próxima clase? Eh, oh, pero revisaré mi eh, calendario. Okay. Solo una pregunta. ¿Hasta dónde tenemos que tener contestado en la plataforma? Mm. La unidad 1 y 2 creo que tendría que ya estar. 1 y 2. Déjeme ver, déjeme ver. So, oh, I have to stay.
See, so the next class is going to be on the 22nd. Okay, 22nd. Sería el viernes. Okay, so this Friday. We're going to have the class yeah, this yeah. Friday. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. All right, yes. perfect. So that's it, guys. Yes. I will see you on Friday. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. You too.